Let's take a look now at some trading volatility we're expecting for the week starting Monday, the 15th of January. And it's around sterling against the US dollar. There's three bits of potentially pivotal data out next week with one which I think has got its head and shoulders above all else. First of all, on Tuesday, we get the unemployment rate for the month of November. It's a bit of a backward looking number. Uh, we, we know what's happening here in the UK economy. We've just seen some GDP released, which is coming slightly better than had been expected. And we do know that employers are are hiring. It's a question that there's a skills gap that's developing in some areas here. Then on Wednesday, the 17th of January, comes for me the big data of the week, which is the consumer price data uh, for the month of December. And that has a direct relevance uh, to what the Bank of England is likely to do. Uh, and then on Friday, we've got retail sales as well for the month of December, which gives a further insight into what's happening uh, for the consumer. So I think that the volatility is spread over three completely separate days. But I want to focus on what's happening on Wednesday with this uh, US uh, UK consumer price index. The US number that we've just seen produced came in slightly stronger than expected. And I think that some people are believing that this is going to be something that's going to be a pattern that might start to develop across other Western nations, across the Eurozone, for example, across some of the big economies in Europe where we're not seeing inflation dampened down as many central banks have been hoping. Here in the UK on Wednesday, we get that CPI print. And I think this is the trade to watch out for. This is sterling against the US dollar. Let's take a look at the chart because we've seen it bump up uh, against this line of what is uh, resistance here at 128.82. Uh, as of the early part of Friday's trade, we're trading at 127.75. Now, I've drawn two dotted lines here showing you the price target for some people. Uh, and the first stop off point is the 129 level. 127.75, we've got to get past this line of resistance first of all. If we do see uh, inflation becoming sticky here in the UK and with that UK consumer price on Wednesday, the risk is definitely on the upside uh, that we're not seeing prices come down as fast as many had hoped. Uh, and uh, we could well see a break of this line of resistance, 128.82, your price targets then 129. And for some people, 130 later on this quarter could well be the area of resistance to watch out for for sterling, especially if we see inflation stay around longer than many have been hoping.